Welcome, welcome everyone. Today we're going to be starting a new playthrough of Luna's Fishing Garden. Uh, this game came out in June 2021, so it's about four months old at the time of recording this. Um, and I actually don't know too much about it. I think at a first glance I noticed that it looked like it had a lot of the same fishing style of Stardew, but a lot of the a very similar feel to Spiritfarer. So I fully expect to be crying for multiple reasons, as per usual. Um, but yeah, it, but the first thing I actually noticed whenever I opened this up is that they uh, offered a point and click option um, for a lot of, for I guess, accessibility. But you know, also it would be nice to kind of have that feel of just just as a point and click game. So I thought that was kind of uh, kind of cool. Um, I did, it does say continue, but that's kind of a lie. Getting right into a cutscene. We love to see it. Maybe. Oh, definitely not. This isn't right. How did this happen? That storm. Did we fail to fight it off? The art of this is just so cute already. Like, look at me go. Why is this human in my garden? Cassie, you say. I asked you why, not who. If I had any power left in me, I'd cast you away in an instant. Hm. That storm scattered debris and destruction all across my island. But what can I do? Nothing, Luna. Oh, you're still here? Well, human, if you want to make yourself useful, gather up any scrap you see, and I might use a, what little magic I have left to help you. Okay, so find a couple scraps. I suppose that will do. Take this. A magic leaf. I can sell items to Luna. Now let's see if I can... Hmm. Behold. A floating leaf. Travel between the islands. Now seek out Jellybean. I'd like to know how that old sea dog feared. If you, He lives on the island. He lives on the next island to the east. He's a master fisherman, so expect a lesson or two from him. Which is good news for you, because if you may want, want my help, I'll need fish. Lots of fish. Okay, so we're gonna go... Talk to Jellybean. Oh my god, what the hell? This is so cute! Okay, he said the next island. I guess I can clean this up on the way, since I'm already here. This seems fairly efficient that I'm doing this right now. Are we gaming? I love how she looks when she's just reaching into the water to grab it. She's so peaceful. Alright. Okay. Jelly bean. I'm s I presume. Ahoy, little fleshy-legged friend. That bar was the storm of the century, I tell ye. Aye, so Luna sent you over to check on me, eh? Well, this hefty seal's still in one piece. Ar har har. Here, take it. This is for ye. Save, save me hide more times than I can count. I, and now she's all yours. I don't like that it's forcing me to use an accent, but here we are. Uh, I apologize in advance for the offense that I'm about to cause. Now, what are ye f waiting for, a landlord? Go fish up a bounty of good stuff for Luna. Oh, and let her know old oh, Jelly Bean's doing just fine. Fitter and, and fiddle and a flounder. <laughs> This is amazing. Oh, I can't carry it. I have an inventory? I have a limit, I mean? Oh no. Perhaps I should go sell it then, first. Okay. Uh, sell this. Oh, stonks. Okay. Okay, this is where we fish. Fishing mode. Challenging or relaxing? Extra challenge now and then. Line up the vertical bar with the fish until the meter fills up to catch it. Relaxing. Just want to relax. Reel the line where the fish is calm and release it while the fish is struggling, or else the line will snap. Oh. Fishing mode can be changed at any time in the options menu. <laughs> I feel pressure. Okay, let's do challenging. Press the button when the fish is next to the green bar. Okay. 
Okay, so this actually is like Stardew fishing here. Nice. <gasps> She's so happy. Oh my gosh. I would die for you. Oh, my bad. That was already kind of... Oh no. You know, it's fine. We just, we just need to get used to it. A minnow? Oh jeez. Why did I choose challenging? I had the option. Put myself through this, and for what? Like, people literally get mods for Stardew to have to avoid this, and I just did it electively? I would like to say that it is 2 in the morning um, when I start recording this. Not really as an excuse or anything. I'm more of just making an observation that I decided to start putting myself through this pain at 2 a.m. Okay, I don't know how many of these videos that we will uh, be on the challenging mode. I can tell you right now it's gonna be one. <laughs> Alright, another guppy. Um, they did only ask for three fish, so perhaps we'll just go talk to Jellybean. Oh, it's E. And I'm still me, handsome old Jellybean. Har 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 har. You're a saint for helping out Luna. Aye, she be pricklier than a puffer fish, but she means well, just like ye lass. Speaking of good intentions, me belly rum boom like a thunder. How about ye put me old rod to use and catch a couple of mackerel for ye hungry pal? Okay, so two mackerel? Oops. Lots of guppies. Oh no, oh no. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh my god, wait, is that it? Oh, okay. That's not bad. You know, they still gave me a little bit of challenge on that. That's, uh, that's how I feel about the situation. Both animations are very cute, though, for fishing. Okay. Go back and clean up some of the scrap. Oh, okay, so there are a lot of different fishing pot spots, actually. Mm -hmm. Let's see, so here we have our quest. I guess we'll meet a lot of different other people on here. Oh my gosh, my inventory must be that small. I guess I did catch up quite a bit of fish already. Let's go back over here. Hey, friend. Okay, let's give him more fish. So, jelly beans alright then? I expected as much. And that is that fish I smell? Good. I'll need them to restore my energy, as will most spirits in my garden. Speaking of my garden, compared to what it used to be, it's not much of a garden at all. Decorate the garden. But not all is lost. Here, human. I always keep my magic seed pouch on me. You're a good person, right? Well, good people help those in need. Surely an able-bodied human like yourself can bring a little life back on to these lilans. You can start by planting at least one cattail and bringing me three cattail seeds. And let's go also sell the items. Mm 
Hmm, I wonder what if it matters where I plant them. Okay, that's just scrap now, so let's clean up this island actually. I'm not really sure what kind of building we'll be doing here. Small cactail? Just a cactail. Well, I kind of like that you don't have to just buy it from him, you can buy it from here. That's a little convenient. Oh! Oh, cute! Okay, so we'll wait for that. Maybe we'll buy another one? Why not? Aesthetics. Okay, so we'll come check on that, because I guess we'll get seeds from this later. I don't know why I bought two of those, like I thought I was rich or something. Uh, and he still wants some mackerel. So let's go over here first, and then we'll start cleaning. Oh, look at you go, Luna. You're doing such a good job. There's not really a lot of space for anything. I don't- maybe the inventory for fish is different? I don't, I don't think so, actually. Okay, we're rich again. Should we buy more cattails? Okay, let's try this one. Don't break. <laughs> A neon tetra. I'm pretty sure I actually had neon tetras um, when I had a fish tank back in the or not too long ago. <gasps> Breadfish? Bread makes you fat? These fish are just so cute, what the heck? Oh yeah, I definitely... Because I think Neon Tetras are honestly probably just really interesting to look at, so people tend to get those pretty early on, like when having a fish tank. They almost look like they glow. And they actually might be, I'm not really sure. A sea bream! Oh, we got every fish out of this spot already. So I guess the mackerel must come out of this then. I actually went to a restaurant today and they had a um just a I mean, regular fish tank in the in the lobby and they had a tiny little lobster, like a little baby lobster, hanging out in the fish tank with the rest of the fish. And whenever we had a fish tank, we also had a, a tiny lobster, but he was blue. I don't think I don't remember if if he had a name, but I remember he all I really remember about him is that he liked to hide a lot. And then feeding him was so was so funny because you almost basically had to give him a turkey baster. Oh my gosh, a turkey baster of something. I actually don't remember what it was. But you basically just like siphon the food right in front of him so he can just grab at it. He was kind of mean though. I'm not gonna lie. But I guess if I had to eat out of turkey baster every day, I wouldn't be happy about it either. Okay, I think I've only seen two spots so far. 
I'm a solid 15 minutes into this game and I already feel like I'm doing something wrong. Okay, this one only has those four fish. This one's definitely missing the mackerel. Okay, let's go check our seeds. Oh, those look like seeds. She's kind of zooming in this leaf boat. I'm not gonna lie. I'm wondering if later maybe she'll have some cosmetics or anything that we can change about her. Okay. Return me you have everything I need. Oh, I thought I did. Oh, three of them. Okay, so we can just take a second for that. Start with the nearby islands. I don't know exactly how much your little human hands can handle, so I hope that's simple enough. Okay, so he just wants me to clean up the other island. I kind of skipped through that one because I didn't realize it was a quest coming through. But we'll zoom past, clean up this last island, and then on the way back, we'll try to get a mackerel again. This music kind of gives me a vibe of playing like an RPG and going into like a little quirky shop. Just like the browsing, browsing the, the wares music. I'm definitely a fan. Another guppy. And when I got the game, it was actually uh, on sale. This game is really not that expensive. If it's if you're in the US, this game is I believe originally $7.99. And I'm not really sure how many hours you can really sink into this. I mean I already feel like I'm going to be doing this all night. But I thought that was a pretty good deal and it was already on s and it was also on sale for another I think it was two dollars off. Which is pretty nice for a game that came out not too long ago. You know what's not nice? Is how I'm being treated by this fish right now. This is very disrespectful. But I did see that I think this game also is released on Switch. Which is nice. This would be a very cozy game for Switch for sure. Um, I couldn't find anything about it being on PlayStation or Xbox though, but I think definitely if if able to, the Switch would be superior for this. What is happening here? This is... This is where I die, I'm pretty sure. Nothing will happen to you if you- <gasps> Oh my god, that fish is really good at catching my lies. Pain. Imagine I was trying to do that on the challenging. What would I have done? Okay, another minnow. Wait, this is fine. We got this. I just need to wait for another one to come, I guess. The had to have been the mackerel. Oh no. I'm getting awfully impatient gamers. This is okay. Alright, let's go bring this back to Luna. to clean up the islands again. Did I not finish that other one over here? Or maybe the one that the jelly bean is on counts. Oh, it must. There's a tree right in front of me. Nice. Okay, we'll try a couple more times before... Oops. 
Don't worry, move on. It also seemed like there'd be more people coming on into this game. There's not much room left on these islands, though. What did I do? Oops. I did get an achievement for that one, and as of right now, the Switch doesn't really have any achievements to unlock, which is kind of a bummer. I was thinking about a lot of uh, what the DS looks like compared to what the Switch looks like as far as the, the menu and everything goes. Because I started playing uh, Majora's Mask again. I haven't played it through in a while, so I kind of just been picking it up every once in a while uh, when I have some downtime. And, you know, they opened up that pin arcade on the Switch for a while. And, um, I don't know, I just always thought that was. I thought it was kind of like silly, but it was also really cute to just have that as like a little mini game for free. So something like that would be really fun again. Oh my god, it'd be more fun than this, I tell you that. <laughs> I should not be raging at this this cozy fishing game. I was like, oh, this would be a good like one to start with my first YouTube video because it seems pretty straightforward, it's very cute. Not really sure. You know, I would like to start doing more playthroughs of games. Um you know, as someone who works full-time, that might be kind of difficult. I mean, like I said, I am doing this at 2 in the morning, because this is when I would have the most time to record videos. <laughs> but yeah, I was just thinking that this would be a really good start, for sure. Uh, what is the... I'm not really about to start talking strategies for these fish, but I don't think that's the... I promise there's a good home for you waiting, buddy. You just gotta give me a chance. Okay, in actuality, how much does a minnow weigh? A mackerel weigh, I should say. Um. Is it this hard? Is it this hard to actually get up a mackerel? I used to go fishing a lot as a kid, and this is kind of giving, reminding me of sometimes when you're fishing, at least in you know, some of the gulfs in Texas, it's very rocky over there, so sometimes you think you're catching a fish, but it's actually just lodged in between some some rocks that you're fishing off of. Uh, the currents will just kind of float it that way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that's the kind of energy that I'm getting right now. I'm not catching any mackerel, I'm just catching rocks, simply. Okay, I'm doing it for Luna. You know that part in The Simpsons where Homer has the do it for her. That's the energy that I'm putting out there, but it's just a picture of Luna. Oops. Oh, I keep calling her Luna, but Luna is the cat, actually. Um, I'm doing it for Cassie. Maybe there's a fishing rod upgrade that will fix all my problems in my life. I do like to just throw money at my issues, so we'll see if that's that's the ticket here. Excellent! The area's looking much better already. We're off to a decent start. Now, if only the plant life could be restored to its former glory. The little zipper sounds. It's very, very faint. Small little detail, but I enjoy it. Okay, I don't... Okay, here's more cattail. 
I kind of want to see. Let's go through the inventory and see what kind of things that we can get for like decoration and stuff. So we have some small cattails, cattails, lotus, a pearl clam. These kind of seem like things that are all going to have uh, some return for you too. As in, and right now I got those cattail seeds. So that would be kind of fun. Does that say capybara house? Helps gather resources from the water. That's amazing. I feel like the move is definitely to kind of save up until I get the capybara first. I have expensive taste. What can I say? Hmm. A crab trap would be kind of fun though. Okay, so here are the decor or the trees. Banana trees, avocados, coconuts. Is that a fe fehua? Fe 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 <laughs> okay. 30 second Google Google moment. The species of flowering plant in the myrtle family. Oh, this is it's just a lot of words that I don't know how to say. Fayoa. Fayoa, grapefruit, lemon, pineapple, tamarillo. I kind of want to buy a tree now. Let's see what that's like. Oh, it's that's why is that just so cute? It's literally just a tree. Oh, wait, these cattails actually come really fast. At least fast enough for me to learn a new word. I may have my doubts about you, Cassie, but it seems you're more than capable. You've earned a bit of gratitude, I suppose. Nice. It's time you sought out the remaining spirits. A visit to the lighthouse is in order. You'll need this key to... Oh? Where is it? Did that storm hack to destroy my island and steal my key? <laughs> in any case, let's just hope it's unlocked. Visit the lighthouse. Okay. We're gonna take a little pit stop. Helmstower. Alright, this fish seems a little spicy. So it could be. Oh my. Now, do we have to start talking strategies on what to do with this fish? I think so. I feel like it did so close every time. If this was a stream, I would ask if we thought this was possible. I'm pretty sure it should be, and I'm just slack a lacking. It just starts traveling so fast. Oh my gosh. I relate to that though. It's locked up tight. Okay, let's go back to Luna. What else does she like? Does he sell me things? <gasps> Wait, oh no. This is fine. Surely we're in business for now, right? <gasps> Monkeys! Okay, we'll come back to that. I just need stonks. A banana. Let's see how much these are worth. Hoping for some good return. Hi! Oh, not yet. So, it was locked? Bah, for Gaia's sake. Well, they'll have to wait for now. Some friends of mine just happened to show up. They're merchants from far off land who deal in just about everything. If anyone has a spare key, it's them. Ooh, a human! Where are the three monketeers? You are one of Luna's mates? Well, any friend of hers is a friend of ours. Once we saw that crazy storm heading this way, we sailed over here as soon as we could. But, uh, we got lost. 
twice. Three times. Alright, three times. And we kinda ate all our food on the way here. Hate to ask, but could you bring us some bananas, mate? Oh, I can bring you some bananas, mate. Okay, wait. If I sell this to him, is he gonna take... Is Luna gonna take my bananas? Perhaps I wait. Because it hasn't really given me the option to pick and choose what I'm giving away. Okay, let's see if we can go back, get another banana, and then continue this. These spawn very quickly. be back for you. Inventory full. Oh no. Can I lock the banana? I'm a little worried. Okay. We might need a cell. So actually, it took the bananas out of the inventory and didn't sell it since I need it for a quest. That's pretty nice. It's a little... I don't want to say... It's like almost makes it a little head empty. I mean, no one's going to complain about that, but, you know, there may be situations where someone wouldn't want to actually hold on to them if they're really thirsty for the for the extra money for the bananas? I'm not really sure. Okay, we'll catch this one and then go back and try to get more bananas. <gasps> oh, look at that fireworks. We did it. Okay, now I just feel like I'm on a roll, so now I want the other mackerel. You don't look like a mackerel. Imposter. in this game. That'd be kind of cool. Alright. Now you're just teasing me. I don't have to take this from you. I wish I had checked to see how much the cat, sail cat tail seeds were whenever I sold them. Alright. We need another mackerel. Wait till those bananas come up. Oh, why does Jelly Bean look ready to talk to me? Surely he knows I'm not ready. Okay, I'll we'll catch a few. <gasps> a few not needed. Okay. Give him that. Holy mackerel! You bought me mackerel. Arg! I'm eating while I'm eating these while they're still fresh. Much obliged, little landlubber. Oh my god, land lumber. Why is that so cute? The storm really rattled our raincoats, I gotta say. We even tried casting away the wretched thing, every one of those spirits, though it revested it. But here we are. Suppose it's a pointless trying to fight a storm, but at least you toss ye into me life, and ye tossin' fish into me belly, so I ain't complaining, ar har har. Oh, I would die for jelly bean. Give me a, a new handle. Gotta get a new handle in life. Let's see. Alright, lass. You had your chance to warm up. Now let's see if you can handle what old Jelly Bean has in store for ye. I'll make this an easy one. Reel in two minnows. Bet you can do it in your sleep. Oh, overall. Ahoy, Cassie. I see you landed a couple of minnows already, showing the briny deep who's your skipper, are ye? And perfect timing, too. It's almost lunch. You know how long it's been since my last meal? Since breakfast, har har har. I 
I immediately jumped in here ready to get more minnows, but I just we need to get a new quest instead. So far, so good, little landlubber. Each fish has been juicier than the last. Real good and meaty. Lots of protein. Well, this time, I'd like you to catch something a bit more. High carb, if you catch me drift. You ever heard of a bright fish? Well, if you haven't, you have now. I'm thinking two ought to hit the spot. Okay, let's go check back on our bananas. Kinda had Stardew flashbacks for a second because I thought this bird was taking my produce. Okay, perhaps we'll... I saw more bananas, so I'm gonna try getting the breadfish first. I'm not going to do anything first. I would like a bigger backpack. I have yet again neglected to see how much the cattails were worth. But we only need two more bananas. So some other things I was thinking of playing would be, um, I got this game, it's called The Shady Part of Me. It's kind of has a little light, little nightmares feel to it, um, which I actually have never played. Um, I have watched a couple playthroughs of it before, but it seems a little more puzzly um, than little nightmares that I, c that I can gather. So I'm pretty excited to start playing that and then see if I can do that for a YouTube series also. In general, I think I'd like to do a lot more like cozy, maybe even some story-based games. Baldo would also be something that would piques my interest for, you know, if I can, if I think that this is something that I can make time for and, you know, try to get some Honestly, try to just get some backlog out of the way. That would be nice. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested in playing a lot of different... Maybe also more indie games is kind of along the lines of what I'm thinking. But definitely also open to suggestions. I realized that particularly while streaming games, since I do uh, I do also stream those those moments when I'm trying to do story based things, it can be really hard. I get very head empty and honestly this is what it would look like if I were trying to stream this right now. I just run back and forth, try to keep up with talking to everyone. And I know that sometimes that's kind of hard to watch as for like as far as like a story progressive not progressive, but a game that requires progression. Oh looky here, ye reeled in a couple of Brady boys. Nicely done, lass. While we're on the topic of strange fish, did I ever tell you about the time I wrestled with the biggest koi I ever saw? Must have been 20, no, 50 feet long with shiny golden scales and a, hey, where are you going? You're doing great so far, lass. Give an old jelly bean a run for his money, that's for sure, ar har har. Next, let's see if you can catch two goldfish. You know, I had me a pet goldfish when I was a wee pup called Moby Nick. <laughs> Arg, those were the days. Okay, I don't have this goldfish yet, uh, and I don't think I'll do an upgrade quite yet either. Let's go get our other bananas. Well, actually, that does say I have two goldfish. I 
thought I did need to catch the bread ones for the last task. Let's see. Bounce and barnacles. Are those goldfish I see shimmering? You're a heck of an angler, kiddo. Ain't you the cutest little goldfish on this side of the Senti Seven Seas? Welcome to your new home. Moby Rick and Moby Nick. Mick. <laughs> Holy potassium! They should be plenty for the return trip home. We live to see another day. Wow, okay, maybe dial it back a notch. Anyway, Cassie, was it? Luna filled us in on what happened, so we found the aboard the Prime Mate for you here. The Prime Mate. The Prime Mate. Don't wanna think we would really be without you, mate. You really saved our tails. Long live Classy, savior of the seas. Okay, so maybe just the third or fourth or sixth time that I have yet to see how much cattails will get me. Extend the lighthouse's reach. 250. But I wanna but I want a capybara. <laughs> Not today, gamer. Although... Hmm. I guess that's just a lot of grinding for fish, huh? I should also get- I'll get my bananas and my cattails too. That'll really help meet my goals, meet my dreams, really, if I'm being honest. Oh my god, it would be amazing if you put them down on an island and you can ride them around the island. I don't know if that's- if that's not the case once I built that house. We might be done here. Oh no. Cozy Grove actually would also be kind of an interesting one to do. Um, I did start Cozy Grove, so I really thought I would probably do something, a new one. I will say that one thing that I think about, maybe three twice a week or so is that I wish whenever I got Cozy Grove I wish I got it on Switch instead of PC I think I would have played it a lot more if that were the case and I feel like that's a kind of a big struggle I run into when picking out these games like this especially with games uh, particularly with games like Luna's Fishing Garden um, I had the same issue with Spirit Fairer and Hades which is basically just choosing, you know, do I want to be cozy playing in bed or do I just want it on my PC with, you know, for the majority of time that I spend playing my games and, and such. Okay, no space. actually tried that time. I really did. It moved too fast for my little brain. Oh, um, okay, so now we have enough to buy a little cage, bring home some friends. All right, this is the moment of truth. They go in the water. I wasn't really expecting that. Maybe? Wait. Those cattails are already ready? <gasps> Stop this right now. Why are they wearing little hats? Why does he have a paddle? This is not what I was expecting. Oh my god, look at him go. Oh my god. 
Okay, so I think this one with the paddle, we're gonna name we're gonna name them Cappy Berry, and we're gonna name this one Kathy Berry. <laughs> Cappy Berry and Kathy Berry, I should say. Berry and Kathy. We're short, of course. So if I just hang out here for a little bit, I could just. Oh my gosh. This is the greatest moment of my life, if I'm being perfectly honest. I wonder if it's gonna let me get another animal to help get like the trees or the pick the trees for me. Five. Okay, five each. Oh my god, I wanna know how much a banana is now. This is really just <laughs> I'm in a world of hurt. Okay, so are, is that going... <gasps> are they selling it too? What is the capybara supply chain like? I wonder. that it says 30 leaves every 45 seconds but I imagine that only means five every 15 seconds this is interesting okay 10 every 25 20 every 40 25 every 30 this is bananas and I am overwhelmed Like, if it's just for selling, I am just don't really know if I should invest in the more expensive stuff. For right now, I think maybe we'll just do this. Oh, wait. Oh, you can't line them up in front. That would be really cute if you could, though. Hmm. I wonder how I can move things also. Okay. Let's go back here, and I'll just get a couple more of these big ones. Bananas. My little worker is doing their thing. We love that. And then I'll catch a couple more fish. And then hopefully, after a few reels, I'll be able to do the lighthouse. I believe it said 250. I'll get 300 just to be safe. Just watching my money just go up on its own. Pure serotonin. Okay. I'm also probably talking a little softer in this one, in this first installment of this playthrough. Um. I am actually using a headset mic, which I know is usually not the best situation for, you know, things that you're kind of just wanting to sit back and listen to. Um, I do have a better mic, and I kind of hope that I can use that in some upcoming videos instead of using the headset mic. For this sake, I probably just use this one for the rest of this playthrough, I guess for consistency. That was a lot of money. So we'll kind of see what happens. And then maybe if I do something, some other playthroughs and, you know, start expanding my horizon, I'll start using the better mic for it. Alright, 250. Let's see what cutscene maybe? Oh my god, what? Why was that an actual jump scare? 
I don't think I'm okay. Was that was that burning my head? There's a lot happening right now. Okay. On that note, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Um, I'm very curious to see what we just unraveled though. It kind of looked like a parrot with a human face. Um, so, you know, that's something to always look forward to. Um, thank you so much for watching. Again, this is kind of the first playthrough and first look at this, and I'm actually really enjoying it. Super cute, and that, honestly, that 45 minutes or however long we were playing together kind of just flew by. So definitely look forward for the next video that we uh, release for this. Um, please feel free to subscribe, comment, however, if you have any feedback or want to see more. Um, always open to it, and I do stream on Twitch, I stream more, uh, right now I'm streaming some Zelda, I do Dead by Daylight, a uh, big mix of things, so definitely check that out also if it interests you, um, and I appreciate you so much for checking us out. Have a wonderful day, be excellent, and I'll definitely catch you next time. Thanks for watching. I don't want to talk about it.